Today, we're going to be putting through its paces the most expensive survival tool on Amazon, the Combar, at a whopping $600. $600, yeah, <laughs> I know. I bought this with my own money to do this test, so you guys need the thumbs up and the comment to, so I can recoup <laughs> some of my investment. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna fall a big tree with it. We're gonna basically do a basic camp setup. Uh, the ultimate goal is to start a fire, or take down a tree, start a fire, uh, and make a pot hanger and uh, a good cup of tea. So the first thing we need to do for our survival camp is we need to start a fire, right? It's been raining nonstop for a week, so everything is completely sodden. So where do we find dry wood in a situation like this? Well, standing dead. Well, we got a standing dead tree here uh, that needs to come down about 12 inches in diameter. And some of you might say, well, that's too big for a survival tool. Well, you know, beggars can't be choosers. That might be the only thing standing dead that you can find. And at $600, I have pretty high expectations, don't you? So immediately I'm running into some problems. The handle really hurts my hand. The vibration of, uh, of the shock coming through it and this tab on the bottom here really is jarring and uncomfortable. I'm gonna put my gloves back on to get a little bit of cushioning. The blade is good, obviously, but the handles are terrible. They're very uncomfortable, and those little nubs on the end, those lanyard holes, do nothing but dig in the flesh. It's not something that is, uh, obviously has been designed by anyone who's ever cut down a tree. I also find it quite difficult to cut straight because the blade is so thin, it wants to uh, travel. But with a little practice, you can overcome that. It does appear to have a little bit of lean in it. We might need to carve out a wedge real quick before it sits back. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Better safe than sorry.
let's talk a little bit about the, the user experience here. We did some real work. We took down a, a, a moderate sized tree and, and did the whole thing using nothing but the tools from the, um, the combar. I think what sums this thing up perfectly is the fact that I was told it was crowdsourced. This, this was a, an idea that someone had, had designed, come up with, and then um, raised the money uh, and people bought this thing. You know, I don't want to offend anyone because it is cool. Uh, it's, it's quite, the engineering on it is, is quite interesting. Um, but anyone who really would buy this, spend $600 on this, it, thinking that this was anything more than a novelty is uh, soft in the head. I don't mean to offend anyone, but it's not designed uh, by anyone who's uh, used tools, um, in my opinion. You would be far better off uh, to take a, um, a good quality hatchet uh, and a silky saw, uh, and you'd basically have um, something that was way better than this. <laughs> it was a lot easier to use. It is not nice to use. It, it has a, a plastic ABS handle that is, it's tough. I mean, we gotta, you gotta give it to it. It got the job done, right? But it didn't, it wasn't very, uh, the user experience wasn't great. The vibration from it is really terrible. It's uh, kind of, um, it's not very nice uh, pounding on or chopping on something that's, uh, you get all that rattling and everything. But it, it is interesting. I didn't get a chance to, um, actually let's pull, let's come up here close and you can take a look and we'll see how it held up and then we'll wrap it up here. I don't want to waste any more of you guys' time, so we'll just wrap it up real quick here. So let's go with each item. The, the best part of the whole thing was the knife. Uh, the knife was actually pretty good. Um, I don't, it, it was, it came very sharp. Someone who, whoever's built this and put this together definitely cares because the grind on it is very nice. The choice of materials are pretty suspect. This is, isn't anything like nice, like Micarta or G10. It's just an ABS. It looks cool because of the ridges, but it's, uh, it's pure, it's pure design over function, but it did work. And I didn't find it to be completely uncomfortable. I've had worse knives. This is kind of a burden, but as you saw, it was very much needed uh, to continually uh, tighten the nut on the saw. Um, the saw was okay. Uh, it worked pretty good. It's not to what I would call, it, you know, it looks really fancy and it's really, it's actually really interesting to look at, but when you start getting close into it, you start to see the deficits, you know, the, just the play and the blade and the tolerance are just not, not there. It, it would really appeal to someone who didn't know anything um, and hasn't really seen, you know, good quality. The sheath, I don't care for. I find it very difficult to, to use. Um, this pocket clip I found to be, or the belt clip to be pretty much useless. Uh, I quit using it. And I always, I always feel like I have to push this out and I'm, I feel like I'm going to cut myself when I take it out. Uh, it's not, it, it's not a great sheath, uh, but it's adequate. Uh, it, and it's kind of has to be this way because it's made to fit inside the, the deal. We didn't get a chance to see the, uh, uh, the digger in action, but I think we, there's pretty much, we can tell that that would do, you know, it would, it would grub and dig no, no problem. Um, just little things. I mean, you can see, see the offset right there. This was crooked, uh, before, uh, we started. So you just, that the typical thing I'm talking about, you know, it's kind of, um, you know, my bamboozle guys that don't know, but, and you can see here that the mechanism is a little bit looser uh, than it was when we started, albeit we did cut down a pretty good sized tree. Uh, the ax, um, lock, the lockup was good. I never had any problem with the latch. The latch is actually quite clever. Um, and it is, it is very interesting. This is a, a really an interesting conversation piece, uh, but it's not a, a, a really a functional tool. Uh, the hammer seemed to be work, work good there. You've got a replaceable, maybe a replaceable deal, head there. I didn't have any problem with that, but just the ergonomics and the handle material and the vibration that came through it was, it was really awful uh, to work with, uh, but it got it done, right? It's pretty, pretty, uh, a lot of thought went into this and, and it's, you know, it's marketing. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's not uh, not something for a real, you know, a real survival situation, but it is, <laughs> it is cool. You know, it'd be one of those things that it, that you would show people when they came over to your house, hey, check this out, <laughs> you know? but, uh, but no, it's not a, it's not a real tool and it's expensive and I'm not surprised. I mean, it's, there's a lot of work that went into that. It's a, there's a lot of design and it's, it's, um, well, all I can say is it's interesting, um, but not for serious not for serious survival. <laughs> All right, well, let's wrap it up here.
Well, that's about all we have time for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, don't forget to click the thumbs up and comment. Uh, help to help me to recoup my money, my, <laughs> my money for buying. I told Mrs. W. I just I showed her. I said, "This is a how much do you think this cost?" <laughs> and she's like, "I don't know, maybe a hundred dollars." I said, "No, it's six hundred dollars." And she said, "Well, I hope that video does well. <laughs> we will see." All right. We'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to um, uh, keep us in your prayers and may God bless you and your families. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.